trying to help y'all watch the video, but I'm trying to help y'all. Like, this is what really be going on for real, for real. I might not even know, but like, this stuff is for real. <laughs> like a week and cause I was running out of ideas but anyways I'm back and this is a video about freshman advice cause y'all really y'all freshmen really need to like seriously I think this is new school this is a whole nother atmosphere this is high school so so I really got me a list cause like y'all need to know and this this is half my list so I don't even want to I don't know, but this is some real advice I've been seeing around. And I've been seeing these freshmen around like, y'all need to watch this video for real because y'all are going down the wrong path off. Like, maybe it's just my school. I don't know. But y'all freshmen here, y'all need to know. Alright, so first, I got you. Number one, number one priority is grade maintenance. I had to put a fan on because I'm burning up with the jacket. Grade maintenance is number one on your list. Like you have to have good grades to start off as a freshman. Like the way you start off is the way you're gonna end. So you need to have turning all your work, all your homework, extra, do extra credit, do bonus points, try to get bonus points, all that. Make sure your grade is up there. And you don't want to be behind because once you be behind, it be so hard to catch back up. Make sure you come to school every day. Even if you don't go to school, make sure. Ooh, I messed up. Even if you don't go to school, make sure that you get somebody to take notes or take the pictures or the homework, everything for you. I know like some schools be using Google Classroom. Make sure you do all your Google Classroom. And yeah, it's not hard. Like all you got to do is pay attention and just stay focused and organized organization is another one so you may want to a lot of people book be junky and like papers everywhere get a folder for every class get a notebook for every class when you have a binder have little i forgot dividers in it so make sure you get that and label it like labeling highlighting all that it really is good for you baby like for real like color use different colors and stuff like be organized. Even if you a girl or a boy, like just stay organized. Like boys, I know like you don't want to use all that color, gay and jump, but like still, you need to be organized too. Cause be the main main ones with boys be organized. Obviously, I would have got wrinkled papers in there, pencil paper, as well pencil paper, all that. So number two or number three is sports. This kind of goes along with grades. Like if you do sports. It be getting away with your grades and your focus stuff like you know you got a game you know you lit and stuff that's all you be focusing on the game and all that but like sports which one is better like i know which one is better but which one is gonna make you graduate grades or sports so really like some coaches you gotta have good grades to be on the team or stuff like that or play but grades is really a big part of that everything that you want to do in school so make sure you have good grades but sports is really fun just all you gotta do is balance it out like have time for practice have time for studying study is a key thing make sure you study even if you have freaking practice go to tutorial and your t your coach should know that like your coach should try to help you pass and all that because that's a big thing that's what we come to school for next i got is relationship I'm in a relationship with all my so relationships like it's the time and the place for all that like I know do y'all hear that or is it but anyways gosh you know what's up relationships man if that person is like giving you a hard time focusing cut them right off like your grades is more important to a girl or a guy like that's that will come first is your grades once you start doing good and start getting on the right path and starting to get on the right road, then 
maybe you should figure out when to have a boyfriend or not. But like, if y'all need time and space from each, from each other, like a boyfriend, like, like this is just puppy love. You're not. Some people might get married in high school. I don't know, but like ninth grade, no, I don't think so. Relationships, don't try to. Oh, y'all, please do not try to risk your all for that one person in high school. Like, just because y'all in high school don't mean this, this and that. I gotta do this. This is what they do in movies. None of that. No, like, you don't have to do, you don't have to be with nobody. Like, if somebody pressuring you, stuff like that, cut them right off. Like, your grades more important. School more important. School come first than boys because they not help you out for real but if they do be helping you out for real let me know so i can find them and that comes along with <laughs> sex so don't let nobody pressure you especially i know like seniors i know y'all be seeing that all over the internet the little mean stuff but that junk is true real all of that like they will pressure you so you can do something with them. Don't make them force you. You can always tell them, always speak up. And if they try to hurt you, then let somebody know. And so you don't have to. I know people be losing major in middle school. But since you're in high school, you can wait. It don't matter if you're a virgin or not. You can keep that drink as long as you want. And who won't talk about you? And if they talk about you, then you need to follow them. Oh, that goes along with... That goes along with bullying, like bullying. Don't bully people, don't be getting in fights. Please don't get in fights because that would go on your resume, your record, all of that. And you just wanna have a positive, um, positive freaking future. Like, they, they is adding up all the way since ninth grade. Like, a lot of stuff you can't do, like, like clubs and stuff, that goes more clubs. Like clubs and stuff, sports and stuff. Now I don't think sports, but like homecoming and stuff for my school, they look at your records and your behavior and stuff like that. And it, and, and if you have a bad record, they not finna recommend you do nothing with them. They not gonna teach us. Probably they don't even wanna talk to you because you so reckless at the mouth, or you always catch your attitudes, or you always getting in fights and stuff, having drama like. Keep all that negative energy out and bring the positive in. So always make sure you bring positive in. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If somebody bullying you or pushing you or anything like that, then always don't don't even take that energy like that energy out and then block them. And they call you scary then. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. And last but not least is join clubs. That is good because you'll get cores, like little things to be around, your what you call it. After you graduate, there's you know, so pretty. I wanna have like 10 of them and I'm enjoying it. I don't wanna have like 10 or 15 of them because it really look good, like you drip. But you wanna do join as much clubs as you can. Do a lot of stuff because that's how you be known for good stuff. Don't be out here game banging and doing this and doing that. Like do what's positive for your high school life, and that's all I'm gonna tell y'all. Like, just keep on doing good. If people are hating on you, bruh, show them what they can hate on. That no not negative stuff. Like, they, ah! they just want you to not succeed. It's always negative one looking at you crazy. Like, I really hope y'all watch the video, but I'm trying to help y'all. Like, this is what really be going on for real. For y'all might not even know, but like, this stuff is for real. Like, People really be out here. It be so much in high school. And now high school feels like a, a big new school for some reason. I don't know, but like, these boys here, these girls here, these mouths, these social media, these pages, all that. Like, don't post your whole life on it. But yeah, y'all, for real. I hope y'all really listen to this. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back in another video, y'all. I really have like two videos planned out, or three. But for real, y'all. Take what I told you, put it in your head, sleep with it, all that. Peace out, Barts!